Um, if you see some of those moles start to change, then yeah, then they should be evaluated. And a typical nevus, or dysplastic nevus, uh, as it's called, um, is basically an irregular mole. Uh, the best way to think of it um, is on a scale or a spectrum. Sometimes you have a normal mole, and that mole can change. Uh, it's not cancerous, but it's not normal either, just somewhere in between. And so we call it a typical or dysplastic. We rate on a scale from mild, moderate to severe. And somewhere along the lines, it could become severe enough where it actually goes on to become a melanoma. One of the things they look at is, um, you know, say the, the color of the mole. Um, is it uniform in color? Um, is it variegated in color? Does it have, instead of being nice and uniform, is it kind of light brown, dark brown, black, um, red, different colors that are within it? Um, does it have a nice, smooth, kind of even, round, well-defined border? Or is it something that um, is kind of more ill-defined or maybe a little bit more regular? The size of the mold is greater than 5 millimeters, which is usually about the size of a pencil eraser. Now, not everything larger than 5 millimeters is automatically an irregular mold, but those are one of the things um, that you watch for. And it's usually when you see a combination of these things. So those are kind of the the warning signs of, of things to look for. If it's a patient where they have relatively few moles, maybe no family history of any skin cancer, um, and the mole comes back mildly dysplastic, um, sometimes it may just be something as simple as monitoring the area. We look for any signs of repigmentation or look for any other uh, changes that are going on. Um, if it's something that's maybe more moderate to severe, um, or maybe they have a history of, of previous skin cancers and or a family history or blood relative with a history of melanoma, um, then we might want to be uh, even a little bit more cautious and maybe sometimes do uh, something as simple as we call deep shave, which is where we can remove a little bit more around the lesion just to make sure it's all the way out. Um, or sometimes if we feel it's necessary, we may just do a little simple excision where we take a little wider, a little deeper out. Um, but either way, we just want to make sure that we don't leave any of those residual cells behind. Majority of time, though, once we see that it is something moderate or moderate to severe, um, then a lot of times we want to make sure that we don't leave any of that residual there. Um, so a lot of times we'll typically do a simple excision. We send it back out to the lab. They can look at the sides and depth and make sure that that, that lesion is completely removed. So that's really the key is early detection. And so if you have something that you're not sure if it's irregular or maybe have a family history, um, you know, something significant of a history of skin cancer, um, it's always a good idea just to get checked out.